Okay. Hello friends, in this session I will try to consolidate, encapsulate whatever we have learned in percentages. So it's an amalgamation of uh, conversion of percentage into fraction and it is percentage change, a shortcut of finding out a percentage change, successive percentage change and a concept of multiplying factor. So in case you have understood everything, so this is what it is, this is the, uh, the crux of the matter. X percent increase will get compensated by a decrease of x upon 100 plus x. If I put the value of x as 20, this is 20 upon 120 which is 1 by 6 that is 16.66. So 25 becomes 20, 33.33 becomes 25 and 50 get compensated by a decrease of 33. So my sincere advice would be, if this has to be there on your fingertips in case you are going for any of these competitive examination. Now I want you to be doubly sure that what you are, what I am telling you are, are you, uh, have you gathered the concept or not. So now I am applying the concept of multiplying factor. Multiplying factor says that in case there is an increase of 20%, the multiplying factor is 1.2. In case there is a decrease of 16.66, it is 100 minus 16.66, which is 8.33. As I have told you, please convert, don't multiply this, but convert this into fractions. This is 6 by 5, this is 5 by 6. This value comes out to be equal to 1. If it comes out to be one, equal to 1, that means there is no change. There is no change in this. Similarly, this is through successive percentage change. Again, if you want to do it for 20 and 25, it is going to be 1.25 and this is going to be 0.8. You convert this into a fraction, this is 5 by 4, this is 4 by 5. You solve this, you get 1. If the ultimate number value becomes remains 1 only, that means there is no change. So these two get compensated. So I can also say that the compensating value of 25% is nothing but 20% and that of 33.33 is nothing but 25 and that of 50 is nothing but 33.33%. So these two components, basically, when they increase and decrease, the net change becomes zero percent. That means if I wanted to do an increase or a decrease of 50 and 33.33 percent uh, simultaneously with the help of successive percentage change, it would have been an increase of 50 means plus 50, a decrease of 33.33 means minus 33.33, minus 50 into 33.33 divided by 100. Look at this now. This is two. This is 16.66. 16.66 and 33.33 gives you minus 50. 50 minus 50 comes out to be 0%. That means this is the compensating factor for 33.33%. Now, my sincere advice would be, just one sec, uh, I would like you people that you should remember basically the compensating factor for 20, 25, 33 and 50. And you will go a long way. Because the application go is going to be there in solving questions for time speed, time and work, profit loss discount, simple interest and compound interest. 